Hey everybody, here's another tool I picked up at the garage sale over the weekend. Just a, another sad, lonely, neglected uh, little sledgehammer. I hate seeing rust on tools. I'll get that cleaned up. But uh, uh, I want to get the, the varnish off of off of there. I, I don't like varnish on tool handles. Uh, it's There's a couple of reasons. First of all, it's, it's kind of slippery. And because varnish tends to be slippery... Uh, you, it gives you blisters if you're out there working with it and uh, working with tools can be hard enough already I like to get that taken off and uh, start working linseed oil in and for the first time I'm going to try this stuff citrus strip uh, paint and varnish stripping gel now I have used it on uh, a table before and had good luck with it but I'm going to try it on this thing and we'll, uh, well let's see how it goes It says to use a brush, but uh, for our purposes here, for just this small amount, I, I can't believe that it's going to matter much if we just use some paper towel to get that gel on there. I'm just going to give it a, a good wipe and turn it all the way to the top. And let's get some more on there. Okay, that's a pretty good coat. It says to leave it for uh, 30 minutes up to 24 hours, but not to let it dry out. So we'll come back and we'll, we say to give it a little test scrape after about 30 minutes and see how it's doing and maybe you have to wait longer, but uh, let's see how it's doing then. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's see how this, how this does. Yeah, look at that. Coming right off. Look at that. Okay, I won't bore you with the continued scraping, but yeah, it's uh, it's coming right off of there. I'll finish that up, and then we'll we'll uh, move right along. Okay, after a little bit of scraping and uh, a little bit of light sanding, we've got the varnish off of there. And uh, in retrospect, I rather than uh, using a paper towel to to apply the citrus stripper. Um, I probably should have followed the directions and and uh, used a brush because that would have put a thicker coat on it uh, and it might not have been so gummy and taken it off but uh, in any event it still worked worked well and I guess if I could give my younger self some uh, some advice it would be follow the directions <laughs> but anyway it's ready to go for uh, linseed oil and let me just show you the reason why you want to get that varnish off of there. These are the very beginnings of what's called checking. And as wood dries out, it splits and cracks ultimately. There's a little bit more, obviously not bad at all. Uh, but there's no way to condition the wood with that varnish on there. There's no penetrating oil that can get past the varnish. Uh, so you got to get that off of there. So what I'm gonna do is treat it with some linseed oil now. And I've just put some on a rag, uh, boiled linseed oil. Incidentally, I'll put Amazon links for anything I'm using here uh, for you if that, uh, if that helps. And this is the idea, you just rub it on. That's all, you don't wanna get too much.
And I think you get the idea. I'm going to do the other side as well, and I won't bore you with that. But you want to kind of wipe off any excess. You don't want it pooling up on there. But this will be the first love that this uh, handle has gotten. I'll finish that out, and I'll also, I'm going to use what's called ballastol on that, uh, the uh, head right there and that'll uh, really transform it, you'll see. And this is the ballastol. Most people will think of it in terms of uh, cleaning firearms, but it's also good for leather, knives, tools, locks, marine, wood. For wood, I, I like to use linseed oil, uh, metal, rubber, but it's a good all around uh, product. It's been around since I think 1904. Uh, but all you do is just get a little bit on there and uh, I'm just gonna wipe it in you get the idea and that really will clean and lubricate and protect it from further rust again look at that but, uh, I'll do the other side I won't bore you with that uh, but anyway uh, that's a little transformation of a, a uh, neglected uh, little sledgehammer and this is the first coat on the the wood the first coat of many I'll do a, a several over the next few days and you can tell when it doesn't want any more, it, uh, it won't drink it in anymore. And then after that, maybe once every several months or whatever, you can tell when it'll need it again. Uh, some people get kind of crazy about it, but uh, it doesn't need to be all that. But uh, certainly uh, tools can be expensive and no reason why we can't take just a little bit of time and treat them right and it'll last us a long time. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.